Hello everyone and welcome to Super Princess Daisy The Plumber's Rescue. This is a Super Mario World ROM hack that was sent to me by the creator of the ROM hack, Orange Bronze Daisy, on Discord. Thank you very much for sending this over. And I love the colors. I say it all the time. I'm a sucker for pretty colors. Princess Peach has requested Princess Daisy along with a concerned Rosalina to meet at Peach's castle for urgent business. Oh no, I hope I'm not going to have to do voices for all these women. Because I cannot do it. I'm going to shred it. Whoa, that world map looks sweet. Look at that. Look at the question mark blocks moving and the water all rippling and stuff. Whoa. Let's go to Peach's castle, see what's up. That's awesome. That's so cool. I have gathered all of us here to discuss who has kidnapped Mario and Luigi. We also need to help Rosalina claim her kingdom back. Okay, so Rosalina's kingdom has been stolen. Mario and Luigi have been kidnapped. We also need to gather clues on the location of this foe and what he wants with Rosalina's kingdom. Let's get moving. Okay. You got it. Peach. Man. That's so cool. I don't know what it is. Darby and I talk about this all the time. Uh, but there's just something about playing as somebody else in these games. That is... Oh, look. Peach is with me. She's the Tails to my Sonic. Or the, the Diddy to my Donkey. I've always said that Peach was the Diddy to my Donkey. But now, look. She really is. There are many hidden areas to explore. Can you find them all? They will help you on your journey. Okay. But anyway, like I was saying, there's just something so much fun about uh, having a different character. Okay, look, that was on me. I take full responsibility for that one. That was my bad. Let's try again. Sorry, Daisy. I'm really making you look bad, Daisy. I'm sorry. I wonder if we have a tiny Daisy form or if it's just a uh, big Daisy and then a uh, Fireflower Daisy. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. I'll get hit a couple of times here real quick and we'll figure out if there's a tiny Daisy. So the uh, creator of the ROM hack told me that um, it's not done yet. This is just kind of a demo, and there's going to be a new version coming out at some point that's going to fix some bugs that he knows about. And if we see any more, we'll let him know that that we ran into some. But we just have to remember that it's a work in progress, and even if there are... Whoo! Galoomba, look. I didn't like that very much, frankly. Oh, that was scary. We just have to remember that it's a work in progress, and there might be some bugs. Well, what was that? Something happened when I walked by here, but <laughs> look at when Daisy looks up. Look at that. Her eyes just go up like one pixel. Oh, I ducked. I thought I turned into Peach when I ducked, but no, I just ducked and she was right behind me. I like the music a lot. I, I want to know who made the music. See, with Super Mario World ROM hacks, I think that there are... There's like a big library of uh, sound effects and music and stuff that you can use. And I wonder if any of this is from that library or if it's original music. Because I, it doesn't sound familiar to me at all. I like it. It's good that Daisy has her own music. And this is really colorful. Look at those flowers. There's just a lot of colors going on here. Oh, are those daisies? Makes sense. And if they're not daisies, don't correct me. <laughs> I'm sorry for my errors. Ooh, Yoshi coin. Sick. I don't know why I said coin like that. Yoshi coin. Oh, he's going to catch you. He's going to catch you. He's going to catch you. Run. <coughs> he got him. Koop is too good. Mellow Meadow 2. Oh, look at that. We get to fly? That's pretty cool. With the feather, you will be able to float briefly and grant access to a charge attack even in midair. Okay. Oh, whoops. Hmm. So 
So I'm guessing it's broken and it's not working right. Let's let's try it again. Cause I'm I'm hitting the buttons. So I'm thinking maybe the feather's not quite working yet. But I'm sure that uh, Orange Bronze Daisy will fix that in an update later. Because like he said, there's bugs and stuff, and that's how it goes. Okay. I just love playing new ROM hacks like this. I think it's so cool. I think that the easiest thing that people can do is just swapping out the character model for others. Oh no, I'm trapped. Oh no. And Peach is out there. And I can't get out of the level. What do I do? And there's no timer. How do I die? Oh no. All right, reset. All right, so I played back to this point, and I noticed while I was playing back that I have hearts up in the top left corner of the screen. So I guess that uh, Daisy doesn't have, um, it's not like the normal power-up system where if you're small Daisy, there actually is no small Daisy. If you lose your power-up, you just go to regular size Daisy and you start losing hearts. So I'm not going in that pipe this time. So that's kind of cool that there's, it's not like the normal Mario. Ooh. I'm just going to skip all the pipes just in case. Oh, Peach. <laughs> Peach is like a Looney Tunes cartoon when like Wiley Co Coyote goes over a cliff and he just like hangs there for a second until he realizes that he's going to fall. I do wish that the feather would work. But just doesn't quite work yet, it seems like. So far, if I had to guess, I would say that this is probably an easier ROM hack. I think what we're going for maybe is a more traditional, traditional-ish sort of thing, which I am totally cool with. I always wish that there were more traditional ROM hacks. I have a series going right now for a game that I've called my favorite ROM hack called uh, New Super Mario World 2 Around the World. And that that's a really, really good one. And I think that more ROM hacks, if they just kind of took some lessons from that, could, uh, could improve a lot. This one so far, I like the difficulty and everything, and it reminds me a lot of that one. I didn't bring that one up to say that I liked it more than this one, I bring that one up to say that this one does a lot of the same things really well. And I like it. The coins are good. Good coin guides. Bunk. I wonder, can I switch to Peach somehow? What is Peach here for? Why is Peach here? What's your motivation, Peach? There's the orb. What happens if I take this into the orb? Nothing. I just kicked it. <laughs> well, it was worth a shot. You're coming with us, Galoomba. Bye. <laughs> I love how they kicked the Galoomba off screen. That's really cool. All right. Mellow Fortress. Hmm. Okay. I always have to remind myself how to spin jump in these games because I play Mario Maker and it's the triggers in Mario Maker. Look at those uh, muncher things in the background on the castle walls. Oh, what was that? A little secret block. Something special up there. Yeah. Okay, let's go this way. Now this is Donkey Kong music, right? So if this is Donkey Kong music, then I'm guessing that other song that I heard was from something. If anybody knows what that was from, I would love to know. Ooh. Ha. Huh. That was kind of dumb. Good thinking, Daisy. It's always smart to run right into the Spinies, Daisy. That's a really good point. I knew I could count on you to do what was right. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Spiny. 
appreciate you just walking off the ledge like that. I really appreciate that. Look. Look. I have no excuse. <laughs> I have no excuse for that death at all. Nothing to say except that I'm sorry and I'll try to do better. I was gonna say, uh, I, I love when you can play a ROM hack like this and you get a feel for what the tone is and you know, you know, like there's some ROM hacks where you get a feel for the tone and you know, like, oh, it's that kind of ROM hack. And there's like hidden blocks that throw you down into pits and there's jumps that are like nigh impossible unless you know exactly how to do them. But in a ROM hack like this, uh, I think I'm pretty confident that the game's not trying to mess me up. And I feel like I can just play comfortably and I can really pay attention to what I'm doing, you know? Oh, this is a mistake. This is a mistake. Oh, oh. I'm just going to go ahead and hit this. I don't know what the purpose is. We'll grab that. We'll grab this. We'll go up here. Is this where I want to be? Let's see. I don't know if that's what those... That's what the P-Switch was for or not. But yeah, there's a lot of value to me in being able to play one of these ROM hacks comfortably because when I'm playing like a, a real Nintendo game, I, I normally don't think like, ooh, what are they gonna do to me? You know, I don't feel like, or a real Mario game, I should say. Uh, but a lot of ROM hacks and a lot of like trollish Mario Maker levels give me that feeling like, oh no, what's in that block? Oh no, is there gonna be a hidden block over that pit? Stuff like that. And I don't feel like I have to worry about that here. So good job uh, to the creator of this ROM hack. Okay, we got the yellow switch palace. We're gonna have to redo that castle, but at least we got the switch palace. That should help us out. Bunch of coins. I got five lives, what do I need these coins for? Five lives? That's plenty. How could I ever need more than five? I said, having not earned the confidence that I said it with. Power of the switch you push will turn that into that. Sweet. I like how it's just a little daisy head on the map. That just, it's like... Daisy and Pac-Man. Okay, let's do Mellow Fortress again. We'll fly through here, because we know exactly what we're doing now. No spinies can even lay a finger on us. We're that ready for what lies ahead. Ooh, look at that! We got all kinds of blocks we didn't have before. Helping us not fall in pits. That's really nice. A lot of times in ROM hacks, they'll put in a Switch Palace and it'll only have like one use and that's like getting past a certain point in one level. But then other than that, the Switch Palace does nothing to actually change the experience of the game. So I appreciate that uh, the maker of this ROM hack actually, you know what? I didn't want that, but I took it. Oh, here I can switch back. I appreciate that the maker of this ROM hack actually made the hidden blocks help you and like block some gaps that you would normally fall in and all of that. That's always a welcome touch. Makes it feel like a real, um, I guess a reward more than like a key to unlock a door. Bonk. Really being careful here. I don't want to die again. I know I just got that checkpoint, but I want, I want this to be a one run daisy. Oh, oh, one, what's a better nickname for old one run Daisy? Hey everyone, it's your buddy Editing Lair, and I'm here to say that one and done Daisy is the perfect nickname. One and done Daisy, one and done. I don't know. Good job Daisy, good daisy -ing. I'm, frankly, I'm proud, oh well. Didn't like that as much, Daisy. That one's kind of on you, dude. 
See what this says. A big spiny lives in this castle named Rose, one of the Trick's pets. Watch out for her fireball. She has a temper. Okay. Thank you for giving me that fire flower. That's really nice. Ho! Ho! <laughs> I had one heart left. I didn't even realize it. I died immediately. Oh, like it wasn't even anything. Okay, let's try to do it the legit way. Okay. Okay, I'm not doing it the legit way. Forget that. Whoa, okay, he spits fireballs. Whoa, his pattern is like all over the place. That's crazy. Normally these patterns are like really easy to track, but I'm having trouble. Wow. Okay, he took me out like it was nothing. I've got three hearts. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go into the corner and we're gonna do it this way. This is basically the way he can shoot up now? He couldn't shoot up before. Why can he shoot up now? Oh no. Oh no, and that doesn't even give me anything? That bull oh, How? How would I ever? Alrighty, here we go. Man, I don't know. So I'm thinking we need to dodge the balls more. Um, maybe if I jump, I can lure them up. Oh wait, can I just duck? Oh no. Oh, you jerk. Here we go. Man, it stinks that my fireballs don't... I wonder if the fireballs hurt him when he starts spitting fire at me. Spitting fire. <laughs> they don't... Why, did, why does it even give me the fireballs then? I don't know. Let's see what this says. Watch out for her fireballs. She has a temper. That's it. No guidance. I need guidance. I'm not very good at Mario. What are you talking about? Ouch. I'm going to die again. Actually, maybe I won't. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Keep you on your toes. Oh, I almost hit him once. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, that's two hits. I'm safe stating like a crazy person now. I'm gonna safe state every second. And nobody can say anything about it. I guess you could, but please don't. Oh. Hit. I wasted that block. I would like another block, please. I'll take it. <gasps> we did it. <laughs> we did it. So, uh, orange, bronze, daisy. One critique that I have so far is that that boss fight is pretty hard. It's pretty hard with the three hearts system the way that it is. So I think either power up should give you a heart or... Um, just make him shoot less fire. Make him shoot like half as much fire as he shoots in that fight. As the three princesses were making their way through the grassy meadows, they had run into a girl. They asked the girl if she was lost. Oh, that girl doesn't look like she fits in with them. I don't know where I am or how I got here. Who are you? Sorry, they're not all getting different voices. I can't. Okay, fine. <clears throat> My name is Bloom. I am a fairy from Alfair. I was with my friends, and then suddenly I was transported here in this area. I also cannot transform. <clears throat> well, Bloom, we, we are currently looking for our friends who were kidnapped by this unknown foe. We are not sure yet, but if you can help us, we will help you in return. Thanks, Peach. Oh, this is Rosalina. This unknown foe has taken over my kingdom. I can only imagine the Lumens are terrified back at home. 
Bloom. I will help you find your friends along Rosalina's kingdom. But first, I need to find the tricks. If I was transported, maybe they are here too. They had stolen my dragon flame, the source of my powers. And allowing me to transform, they shouldn't be too far since we were in a battle before I was transported to your world. <clears throat> Good. We're done talking to Bloom for now. What a lovely sunset. The tricks ha have to be here. I am sure those turtles look energetic. Could knock them out of their shell. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Excellent work, Daisy. Couldn't be more proud of you. You really knocked it out of the park. See, I think the thing, the thing that uh, is going to be difficult is getting the difficulty just right on that castle level because the the platforming and everything on the castle level really matches up well with this where I'm running around in this kind of overworld level but the boss fight did not match up as well I think the boss fight needs some some serious tweaking look at me trying to go into pipes right after I said I wasn't gonna try to orb oh I missed a Yoshi coin not cool Good job, Daisy. Still proud of you. All right, it looks like we're coming up on a castle down there. Got Mellow Meadows 4. Whoa, look at that big Galoomba. He hatched into two tiny Galoombas. Can I do anything with that? I love those big Galoombas. Those are so cool. They've got giant eyes. Oh, I thought maybe everything in this world was going to be big, but it looks like it's just big Galoombas. Because these are regular sized Koopas. <laughs> those big Galoombas look like toy versions of Galoombas somehow. Like if Nintendo released a toy Galoomba, that's what it would look like. <gasps> Thank you, thank you, Koopa, thank you. You really came through for me, ah! Can I kill you with the, no I can't. So I gotta do two bounces to hatch the Galoombas into two Galoombas. Looks like we're forced to go in this pipe. Oh, nope. Hmm. Let's see, are we at the end? Oh, okay, there's a pipe we can go in. I thought surely that's not the end, right? Again, though, creator of the hack still... <laughs> my bad, my bad. The creator of this hack is still working on it, though, so if you decide to play it for yourself, just know that uh, it's a really early version and there's going to be a lot of fixes and there's going to be new levels and new content and uh, all of that, so... Just remember that. Think of it like you're playing a demo if you go to play this one. Big Eye Galoomba's coming for me. Gotta get out of here. He's too scary. But in a cool way. Wink. Okay. Oh. Good, good, good. Again, the platforming is really fun here. I like it. There's a lot of uh, verticality to the levels, so there's stuff to explore. I'm going to go past this and see if there's like a Yoshi coin. Nope, no Yoshi coin. All right. I just wanted a secret after I've seen a couple past the little end orb. All right, what next? Are we going all the way down to the castle? Looks like it. So I think, if I understood correctly, that this is the last world. Yeah, it says end of demo, even. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's the end of the demo. There's no castle yet. Uh, we did the mid castle, but that one actually doesn't do anything if you try to click on it. Uh, well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. Make sure to leave some comments down below and let uh, Orange, Bronze P Orange Bronze Daisy sorry, know how you felt about his hack. And uh, just cheer him on, give him all the encouragement that he needs to keep working on it, 
keep putting his time and energy into it because I think it looks great. And I think that if he just keeps working on it, it'll be a really, really cool ROM hack. It looks like he's got a fantastic foundation here, and I can't wait to see the finished product. Thanks again for sending this over to me, man. Later.